Welcome to my channel. I'm Karina and I'm here to show you how to use free simple tools to manage your business. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to centralize your emails on Gmail from SiteGround. Let's get into it. So here we are in my SiteGround uh, dashboard. So here you can see email accounts and this is where we're going to go to start by creating the email address we want. So this is my domain name and I want to create a new account called App. Very exciting. And I'm going to generate a password for it and then click create. So here I have the message that the email account has been, been created. And here I have the email configuration part. So all I have to do now is to go to my Gmail account and use these information to actually receive my email from my Gmail account. Here we are on my Gmail account. That is a simple uh, free Gmail account. And I'm going to go into the settings, see all settings, accounts and imports. And what I want to do is actually check email from other account. I'm going to click there and it's going to open this pop-up window here. All I have to do is fill the information from my email account in order to be able to receive email from that address. It asks me if I want to import from POP3. This is the POP3 port, so everything is fine. I click next. So in the username here, it says test, but I know the username for it, it has to be my full email address. POP server is the right one here. The port is 1995. And then it is your choice. Do you want to leave a copy or not? I like to leave a copy on the other one. So if I accidentally delete it, I will always have a copy. Uh, you can choose to use an SSL connection, label the incoming message, archive the incoming message. So they don't go in the inbox and go straight in the archive. I'm just going to take that I want to leave a copy and I'm going to click add account. I have to pause the recording because because the email address was so fresh, it was giving me a timeout, but now I finally managed to make it work. So I got the confirmation uh, message that I can now uh, retrieve the email from this account. And it's asking me if I also want to be able to send email as this email address. And I say yes, because I do. And I click next. So the email of this address, I'm going to yes. And do I want to read an idea to know? Next step. So now it's asking me for the ST, uh, SMTP server, which is here 465. The username, again, it's going to be my full email address. I want to continue having an SSL configuration. So here I'm on my test um, webmail and here's the email. I can paste, verify. Now let's go to my mail account and you can see here. So now we're back into the settings of my uh, Gmail account. And you can see here that I can send email as test as kgconfidencecoaching.com. And I also um, can check email from this email address, which means email sent to this email address will be sent to me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it gave you exactly the tips you needed to have. If you have an idea of what next video I should make, please leave it in the comments and I will look into it. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Have a wonderful time.